Who was Babur, the first Mughal emperor? Here's where our story begins. Born on a chilly February 14, in 1483, in the city of Andijan, situated in the picturesque Fergana Valley, which is in contemporary Uzbekistan, Babur, right from his birth, bore the weight of an impressive lineage. He was a direct descendant of two of history's most powerful leaders, Timur, the great conqueror from the east, and Genghis Khan, the Mongol ruler who carved an empire that stretched from Asia to Europe. This royal heritage set the stage for Babur's life, a life that would be filled with conflict, power struggles, and a relentless pursuit of establishing an empire. It was this very world of turmoil and upheaval that Babur was born into, a world that would not only shape his destiny, but also set the course for the historical narrative of the Indian subcontinent. Babur was born into a world of conflict and power struggles, which would shape his destiny and the course of history. Babur's early life was anything but ordinary. Born into the royal house of Timur, destiny had marked him for greatness from the start. But greatness often comes hand in hand with hardship, and Babur's path to the throne was far from smooth. At the tender age of 12, Babur ascended to the throne following his father's sudden death. The kingdom he inherited was rife with political unrest and his reign was short-lived. Within a few years, treachery within his own court saw him ousted from his throne, his kingdom snatched from his grasp. Yet, Babur was not one to accept defeat. He spent the next years of his life in a relentless struggle to regain his lost kingdom. But life had other plans. Instead of reclaiming his old kingdom, Babur found himself drawn into the intricate web of power politics that spanned across Central Asia. The early years of the 16th century saw him locked in a series of battles, each more grueling than the last. But it was in 1504 that Babur tasted his first significant victory. He launched an audacious attack on Kabul, the heart of the mighty Sultanate of Afghanistan. Against all odds, he emerged victorious, capturing the city and establishing his own rule. This victory was a turning point in Babur's life. It marked the end of his years of struggle and the beginning of his journey to become a conqueror. Kabul became his new kingdom, his base from which he would launch his future campaigns. It was here that he honed his skills as a ruler, a military strategist and a visionary. These early trials and tribulations would prepare Babur for his future role as a conqueror. His experiences taught him invaluable lessons about power, strategy, and leadership. And it was these lessons that would guide him in his future endeavors, shaping the course of history in ways that still reverberate to this day. Babur's sights were set on the rich lands of India. This wasn't a whimsical decision. Babur was a visionary, and he had long dreamt of the fertile plains and abundant wealth of India. So, in the early 16th century, he embarked on a journey, a journey that would forever change the course of Indian history. Babur and his forces crossed the rugged terrain of the Hindu Kush mountains, braving the harsh weather and challenging geographical conditions. His first major confrontation in India was the Battle of Panipat in 1526. This was a pivotal moment, not just for Babur, but for the entire Indian subcontinent. The battle was against Ibrahim Lodi, the last ruler of the Delhi Sultanate. The armies of the two leaders met on the dusty plains of Panipat, a small town north of Delhi. Babur was outnumbered. Lodi's forces were almost double the size of Babur's, but Babur was a military strategist, a master of the battlefield. He introduced new tactics using cannons and firearms, which were relatively new to the Indian battlefield. The battle was fierce but Babur's superior strategy and the use of modern weaponry turned the tide in his favor. The Delhi Sultanate fell, and Babur emerged victorious. This marked the end of the Delhi Sultanate and the beginning of the Mughal Empire in India. But Babur didn't stop there. He continued his conquests, capturing the formidable fortress of Agra and then moving towards the vibrant city of Delhi. With each victory, his empire grew, covering a vast expanse from the foothills of the Himalayas in the north 
to the banks of the Ganges in the east. Babur's victory at Panipat was more than just a military triumph. It was a turning point that ushered in a new era of art, architecture and culture. It marked the advent of the Mughal era, an era that would leave an indelible imprint on the canvas of Indian history. With this victory, Babur laid the foundations of an empire that would last for centuries. Babur's reign was marked by his administrative skills and cultural contributions. This ruler, a direct descendant of Timur and Genghis Khan, was known as much for his love of art and literature as he was for his battle prowess. Babur was a visionary administrator. He established a well-structured government that laid the foundation for the Grand Mughal Empire. He introduced a system of revenue collection and land measurement, which was later perfected by his grandson, Akbar. This system promoted agricultural productivity and ensured a steady flow of revenue to the empire. But Babur wasn't just an administrator. He was a patron of the arts and literature. He had a deep love for Persian poetry and was himself an accomplished poet. His memoirs, the Babanama, provide a detailed account of his life and times and remain a significant historical document today. Babur encouraged the translation of many Sanskrit texts into Persian, fusing the two cultures and fostering intellectual and cultural growth. Babur's love for beauty extended to architecture as well. He brought Persian style gardens to India, introducing the concept of Chaba or four gardens that later became a distinctive feature of Mughal architecture. His most notable architectural contribution, however, is the Babri Mosque, constructed in the city of Ayodhya. This mosque became a symbol of the fusion of Islamic and Indian architectural styles. Babur's reign, though relatively short-lived, was instrumental in shaping the culture and history of the Indian subcontinent. His administrative reforms brought stability and prosperity. His patronage of the arts and literature fostered a cultural renaissance, and his architectural contributions left a lasting imprint on the landscape of India. Babur's reign left an indelible mark on the Indian subcontinent, shaping its culture and history. His legacy continues to influence the region, a testament to the vision and vitality of this remarkable ruler. Even in death, Babur continued to influence the course of history. His final years were marked by a sense of accomplishment and tranquility. But as the wheel of time turns, so too did the life of this great emperor. In the cold month of December in the year 1530, Babur breathed his last. His body was laid to rest in Kabul in a place he loved dearly, a garden he himself had commissioned known as Bagh-e-Babur. The place epitomizes Babur's love for nature and his aesthetic sensibility, a testament to his enduring legacy. But his legacy goes beyond his final resting place. Babur left behind a rich tapestry of cultural and historical contributions. Among these, his memoirs, the Babunama, hold a special place. Written in Chagatai Turkish, his mother tongue, the Babunama, offers a vivid glimpse into his life, his conquests, his struggles, and his reflections. It's not just a historical document, but also a literary masterpiece, a window into the mind of a complex and fascinating individual. Babur's legacy, however, didn't end with his memoirs or his garden. He was the progenitor of the Mughal Empire, an empire that would leave an indelible mark on the Indian subcontinent's history. Under his descendants, the Mughal Empire expanded and flourished, reaching its peak under Emperor Shah Jahan. The Mughals brought with them a synthesis of Persian, Turkic and Indian traditions, resulting in an era of architectural marvels, administrative efficiency and cultural flowering. The Mughal Empire shaped the course of history and its impacts are still felt today. From the majestic Taj Mahal to the intricate miniatures, from the Urdu language to the Mughlai cuisine, traces of the Mughal influence can be found everywhere in the Indian subcontinent. Babur, the first Mughal emperor, was a figure of immense historical significance whose legacy continues to resonate today. So who was Babur, the first Mughal emperor? As we've journeyed through his life, we've seen a man born into uncertainty, who overcame adversity to rise to greatness. A man of many facets, Babur was not just a conqueror, but a patron of arts and culture. 
leaving an indelible mark on the world. In his early life, he faced struggles but remained undeterred, his eyes set on larger goals. His conquest of India was a significant turning point, not just for him, but for the history of the subcontinent. His reign saw the fusion of diverse cultures, birthing an era of remarkable architectural and artistic achievements. In his final years, Babur's legacy took shape, echoing through the annals of history. His impact, from the establishment of the Mughal Empire to the cultural renaissance he inspired, is still evident today. Babur's story is a testament to the power of ambition, resilience and cultural exchange, shaping the world as we know it today.